Hey, what's going on you guys? Let's take a look at some uh, Hot Wheels ID cards. Uh, these cards are recent. They're new to me. Uh, I just started collecting these. Uh, I don't have the Hot Wheels ID uh, track. It seems kind of overpriced and I don't use the app. That That is the gimmick with these cards if you're not familiar with them. They have chips at the bottom. We'll look at it in a second. But I don't do any of that with the, the tablets or the devices. But they have really nice packaging. Really, uh, this is a premium Hot Wheels car with a government tracking device installed in the base. This is called the Rally Finale. All the cars that, that we're going to be looking at today, we'll take a look at three. They're all, uh, I guess, what would be referred to as Hot Wheels fantasy cars. They're not real cars. They're Hot Wheels cars. You know what I mean? They're but they're really, they're really nicely done. This next one is my current favorite right now. This is the Night Shifter. This is the best track performer out of the three cars that we're taking a look at today. It does well on the oval and it also does well on the six lane speedway. This is a bitchin' car. Uh, this car as well, as I mentioned earlier. Tracking device installed in the bottom. Now, the last car we're going to look at, I, I, it's still in the package, and I, I did this because I thought it might be interesting if, uh, if you're not familiar with these. So when you get one, it comes in this really nice packaging that you know it feels like uh, it's like you just purchased a new government tracking device it's got the information there on the on the inside flap it's magnetized it's nice huh? so part of the experience with these cars is this is what we're doing right now that's why I'm including it so uh, part of the experience is this the, uh, the premium packaging that is collector friendly that you can keep right you can display your cards on top of it or you can store them away and they 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 uh, they store away nicely you know actually I take that back there's nothing on the sides to tell you what car is inside of here huh <laughs> so not so collector friendly so kind of in typical Hot Wheels fashion, you know, they get the cars fairly right, you know, almost all the time or most of the time. There's still good cars being made, in my opinion. But some things they don't get right, like the tracks are not completely. And, and trust me, I'm, at this point, early on, I wasn't going to say anything because I hadn't done much research, but I bought some track and I've done some research. So I can fairly say that there is an issue there up at the top if we're looking at a toy line that's been around for 50 plus years and they can't get uh, the majority of the track systems correct, in my opinion. So the best thing that they've ever made probably in the last 50 years is the six lane speedway. I can't recommend that enough but as far as any of the other track sets or track packs go not so much you just got to do your best to build your best track for you and your cars but for the most part yeah 
this is an awesome car this GT Hunter it looks sick doesn't it so um, this car has got this long stance or long profile it's low it's like kind of reminds me of an RX-7 so this car does not perform well on the oval because it doesn't corner very well uh, at least not on these you know the present day Hot Wheels corners but it does great on the six lane on the speedway so that's it man we looked at some uh, some Hot Wheels ID cars new to my collection and I like these even though I don't use the app don't have the track I still like these I like the, the whole package so I uh, hope you guys have a great day thanks for watching I'll talk to you later